Hi everyone, this is Jenna from Resale and Ship. I have another one of those box. Today is actually still the same day. The only reason I look a little bit nicer now is one, I noticed that that shirt looked really weird on me and two, I have a Zoom meeting in about an hour so I needed to be presentable for the Zoom meeting, which makes it sound really bad because I made a YouTube video first and I didn't think I was presentable. But uh, after watching yourself, after you do that, you uh, realize that. Anyhow. Here's my next box from the same seller, another not so mystery box for you. So my plan is to kind of release each of these videos um, every couple of days, but they will be done all in the same day because you want to make sure that you rate your Poshmark seller as soon as possible so they can get their payments. Each one of these boxes costs $15 total, um, $14.99 to be exact because the state of Vermont does not have clothing tax. And all the items in here are clothing. And that actually applies to shoes as well. Vermont does not have shoe tax. All right. A little bit hard to get open. Bear with me for a minute or two. There we go. All right. So this is number two of five not so mystery boxes, all from the same seller. And if you're interested in watching all of them, you can check it out on my channel. If you're not a subscriber, feel free to click the subscribe button. So I know about what was in these mystery boxes because she had the picture of them, but it was like only the picture of the item itself laid flat down. So you make your judgment call based on the brands that are available. She did have the brands in the description and she did list if they were new with tags or not new with tags or pre-owned. The first one I have, this is like a burnout shirt, kind of, but it's actually a little cuter. So this is Re Rebecca Minkoff. It's a good brand. It's like a crop top and a geometric pattern. I don't know if you can see the geometric pattern there. This is really cute. Um, it's got a little bit, I oh know that's just a tag. I thought it was a stain at first, but... I like can get out stains out of anything now, so okay. Not that I want stuff with stains, but I will consider them based on material. And so I think I do pretty well with this. I I'm not familiar with Rebecca Minkoff that much because it's a higher end brand, but I'm going to take a guesstimate and say because normally she's known for her expensive high end purses, so I would think her clothing would also be expensive. But resale value, I don't know. So I'm going to make an estimate just by based on what I know about her purses. I was in the thirty to forty dollar range for resale, but I'm not one hundred percent on that. I think maybe after I do all these videos, I'll go back and do like a separate video of comparing um, how much, like I think it's going to sell for, like with comp sold, but I'm not sure yet. So this one is Tarte, and I think I've heard good things about Tarte. I can't remember if I'm confusing it with another one, but just a cute little um, shirt. It's a size small. Size smalls are not always the best sellers for me. I know some people say they do really well with size extra small and small, but I normally don't sell a lot of smalls or extra smalls anymore. This is another Tarte dress. This is a tube top dress. It's just a plain tank top dress. But I mean, for $15, you're thinking about, oh, here's a dress. I can make at least 10 on it. That's three items of clothing, $30 so far, and we're still not even halfway through the box. Next one is Ann Taylor, and it's a, um, what is this called? A leopard print. So I think that would be like a $15 shirt. Ann Taylor does pretty well, even if it's a size four. I feel like I don't remember getting this box. I haven't, nothing in here is really like spoken to me. Oh, wait, the thing I got this box for is in the bottom. Okay, we'll get there. So the next one is this make and model like little pajama top. It's a size medium. It's like a little crop top pajama top. Or maybe it's not even a pajama top. Maybe it's a, just a crop flannel, which would be better because who wears crop pajama tops? I don't know. 
So I'll have to do a little bit more research on some of these brands, but I'm pretty sure I bought the box for the Rebecca Minkoff and then the other thing that's in the bottom. But I also have heard that Tarte is okay too, so. This is a Victoria's Secret swimsuit top. I think, I believe that's what it was. Can't find the Victoria's Secret part on it though. It looks like it was cut off, so. She said it was a Victoria's Secret thing, but because it was cut off, I'll have to look it up to see if it is a Victoria's Secret swimsuit top. I mean, it looks like it is. It's got, like, the pink label. I've never had or a Victoria's uh, pink swimsuit top before, so I think it probably is. It probably has the RN on here somewhere as I look really, really close to this. It says hand wash. It says, oh, it's got the RN, so I'll look up the RN to double check those Victoria's Secrets, and I'll put the RN in the listing so the buyer can comp up it. It's really cute. It doesn't have the size on it either, which is kind of annoying, but I think she had the size in her listing. Oh, and it's got this really cute uh, little, like, uh, on the ties, there's these little stars, or not star, there's a little, uh, look, a little sun charm and a little moon charm so that's kind of cute that'll probably be like 20 bucks that little top um next one is fila and this is looks like a large or extra large oh it's extra large men and it's like new with sticker so new without tags so i think that would go for probably about 20 dollars 20 25 dollars on that it's not bad and this other one is another top of some sorts. Kind of looks like a swimsuit or an exercise kind of top. So this is Charlotte Ruse. Oh, it's just a regular top. So just a regular like half top like that. Charlotte Ruse um, is kind of a cheap brand, but they have cute stuff and lots of people like it. I know I liked it when there was a store in my area, but I don't think I'll expect to sell this for more than $10 because I don't know if it's like, part of something or just half of something or I mean I'll list it as a, a pink top crop top it's cute and then this piece what is this I did buy this for this this is a 3x cold water creek um shirt and some people are probably like cold water creek that's like an old person's brand or something but uh, young not not young people but older like middle-aged people might wear it and it does particularly well on eBay and so I think in the bigger sizes particularly so I'm thinking like 30 to 40 dollars on the cold water creek top it's a really nice top it's really pretty purple and like floral-ish print fern leaves and there's one more thing and this is like this uh, brand called PJ Selvage which oh this is new with tags too it says meowy and bright um, it's a pajama company from Nordstrom, apparently, the tag part about how much was paid was cut off. Um, but I was looking at comps, and depending on it, can go for like $25. So I think this is like a better box than the last one, in all honesty. Um, I can't remember why exactly I thought the other box would be good, but I did buy it. I think I bought it thinking that that one item was a dress, that those weird pants top I found out it's a whole thing it's a top and pants I guess that's like a jumpsuit or something um but we'll see how that one goes so this one I'm thinking so I'm going to count up in my head so like 25 for this and like 30 for this so it was like 55 and I'm going on the low end there and about 10 for this so 65 um and we'll do this one to make math a little bit easier so that's 85 and then this would be like 110 with the Fila shirt or 105 and then maybe like $10 so say 115 130 I'm not sure about tart off the top of my head so I'm going to just say like 15 so 145 maybe one another $10, 155 and then this Rebecca Minkoff, I'm going to say like $30, so $185 total, minus the $14.99 or round up to $15 that I paid for it, um, 
So that would be like 165, the Poshmark fees on everything. Probably it's going to take me down to 140. So I feel like this is a better box for um, the not so mystery portion. And none of this one had stains or anything this time. So I'm really happy with them, at least none that I saw just rifling through it. And again, I will link the seller's um, Poshmark closet name in the description. She's still selling um, not so mystery boxes. So you guys can check it out and see if you want them. And they should be listed for around $15, but she does drops on like closet clear out. And that's how I got the $10 for $4.99 shipping deal. I feel like that's a really good deal for what I'm getting. All right, everyone. So thank you again for watching. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comments below. If you liked this video, um, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, that's okay too. And if you'd like to be a subscriber, I appreciate it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.